I'm on Valentine's Day. I was coming up here to enjoy the mountains and see if I could try my luck at some sheds. Found this rub right here. Thought it was pretty good looking and I looked right down below it and sure enough I uh, spotted one of the biggest moose sheds I've ever found. I was taking a picture of it and sure enough realized the other side was laying right behind it. Third side by side moose set I've ever found and this is by far the nicest one. And was I stoked. It's still got blood on it. Not to mention the other side right here. Yeah! Can't believe I did it. Let's take him home. Well, here we are today. Me and Dwayne came up wolf hunting. I spotted this uh, elk leg right here and I was like, man, the wolves got another one. As there's got to be something else around here, some some more body parts. So we're coming up, and Dwayne looks down and looked at that rib, and I looked up and looked right through there. And there he is, right there, bigger than life. Six point bull elk, right there. Well, we're gonna take him home with us today. Sure was worth coming out. Pays off to go wolf hunting. wolf hunting in northern Idaho. Figure if I gave up on them they'd be mad at me and can't can't let that happen. So, got some deer spotted over here on the road. Some mule deer and some white tail. No wolves yet. After you start howling you always want to wait at least an hour before you pick up and leave because you never know how long it's going to take for them to get there. They're freaking out and going uphill now. Gotta pay attention. White tail pop back out. It's been about 20 minutes. Still no wolves. The mule deer are freaking out. There's gotta be something over there right now. They're running. There's the deer right there. They were just hauling. False alarm, just white tail toe. We're wolf hunting today. Got my stepmom Joni with me today. We've hiked about a mile. Got some good areas up above that, that could hold wolves. I've seen tracks down at the bottom, so I know they've been here before. Do some howling and make it happen. Fresh wolf tracks coming right here. Coming on out of here. Came down through here and then circled back down through the creek. So we're going the right direction. We're just gonna get up high, get a big vantage point, and hopefully call him in. Johnny, we just we just spotted a nice big bull elk there. All right, there he is. He's like running down the hill. There's got to be something over there. There's another one behind him. Johnny says, "Oh yeah, he's a nice bull." Oh, he's a big one. There he is. Giant six point. Wow. This is uh, Joni's first big bull elk she's ever seen in the wild. Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah, he's a big one. He's yeah, he is. Bigger than the one my dad got. Wow. Here's Johnny. We just found a shed, so she's gonna go pick it up. Hey, I'm in. Right there next to that tree. Pick it up. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> That's it right there. Let's keep looking.
spotted a big brown over there. I think it's last year's, but it's a big one. We're gonna go get it. Right underneath this big tree, man. Lucky me. Oh yeah, that's what's up. I'm trying to be quiet because there's wolves around. Just hiking to the top of this mountain here to check all these big wintering places over here for wolves. Maybe some bulls that still have their antlers on them, but on the way, glanced over and saw this bad boy. Big old brown from last year. Man, am I stoked. It's a good find. I've got my elk spotted. Half of them are in the trees over there. The big old group of them. The wolves are around here somewhere. They gotta be close to the elk because that's their main food source. Find the elk, find the wolves. Hopefully they howl for us or something and give us their location. That'd make it a lot easier for me. Home sweet home for the day. Here's Colton, Colton Thatcher. He's my new buddy. He found the shed on the right, right there. It's a giant, giant five point with a kicker. You could call it a six point, but the base on that thing is just unreal. Real good shed there. And then that six point right there I picked up yesterday. A little short on top. It's got busted out on the back. We'll take them. We're gonna go out and get after it today. <laughs> yep, Colton. Awesome. Colton just spotted an antler today. We've hiked like three miles at least way up this canyon. He spotted it right down there in the brush. Go down there. Right, right there above that rock. Colton's got the shed eye, that's why I'm with him today. He called me out on one of my spots, so I told him we'd better team up. <laughs> yep, that's a cool bull right there, and the squirrels didn't even really get to him much. Perfect. Maybe if we keep looking, we'll find some more. Good job, Colton. Keep on picking them up. Yep, we had the right idea today, so we're gonna keep on going. Well, yesterday, Colton met me up here, and I figured I'd try the other side of the river today, and found a big shed, and I wanted to match them up. Looking for where I found the last one, I ribboned it out, and so I knew exactly where it was. Then I decided that I'd try the next draw over, and before I even got to the draw, I found it right there. Last year's brown. Matched my bowl up. Can't believe it. Can't wait to get him home. Picked up that shed a minute ago. I could clear around the mountain again and check all these big clearings. See if I could see my bull come out or see if I could spot any sheds or any wolves. And sure enough, clear over here in the bottom I spotted. There's a shed in there. Too far away for you guys to see it. Holy cow. It's got some pretty good fronts on it. Five point for sure. Picked it up, it's an old five point, and right next to it was a really old spike with the gnarliest base I've ever seen. Made it from clear over from the top of that mountain, that clear, right there in the middle. Came all the way through those trees, all the way up this steep hillside right to it. I'm glad I did it, it was worth it. Now I just gotta get out of here. Never underestimate yourself. You can do amazing things if you try for it. Back where I found that deadhead, I set my trail camera up right there. I've been coming back here almost every single day to fill up my water bottle and all these bones. Somehow, I was gonna leave today. There's a lot of bones around here. No wonder it stayed hidden for me this whole time. Just the burr. Let's pull it out. Let's see. See what it is. Alright, hopefully it's a nice one. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a pig. Oh my gosh, this is one of the biggest white tail antlers I've ever... Holy cow! I just pulled that out of, that is one toad mule deer. Can't believe I just did that. I was going to do some calling and uh, I 
figured I'd better do some glass and see if I could see anything first. And I was pretty sure I spotted an elk horn. I already had the spotting scope out ready for the filming and everything. And sure enough, I zoomed right in on it. And I've got an elk horn spotted right down here. Right there. Do a little bit of calling here. And then if nothing happens, we're going to pick it up. getting bleached out so I figure I'll just go pick it up so let's go get it it's right over there in that draw 100% for sure and I'm good happy with them that's cool I'm still getting rained on I waited half the day so that I would only have to get wet half the day because I knew it was going to be a bad one but I got over here to where I spotted my bull out on this clearing and I was looking a little bit harder, and sure enough, I spot right in these cliffs somewhere. Oh, there it is. Looks like it's just a five point. Hey, we'll take it. Hopefully, uh, I can just hang out for a bit. Maybe catch a glimpse of the ones that are hanging around now and see if they've got their antlers on or not. I went up here, and I glassed across to where my bowl was, and I spotted a shed. So, got a shed to go pick up first thing today. Well, there's the antler right there, and I spotted it from clear over there. Very many left to pick up though, until they start dropping. So hopefully this big bull drops, I can go up there and snag his antlers right now. Hopefully some wolves show up along the way. Found one of my dead calf elk. There's hair strung up all along through this brush up there. And I was investigating and sure enough it's a calf elk. Another one taken by the wolves. Hiked a few miles and I got some elk spotted in the middle of this clearing. Couldn't believe it. Just one spike and a few cows and one calf. Not very many for how many should be there. So this is the, the perfect environment. There they are. 